Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is May 11th, 2022. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report and Day Trader S&P 500. We have a quick update for you guys today. We're going to just look at the uh, ES and the uh, S&P 500 cash index. Today was a pretty big day because we reached our target, our long-standing weeks, if not months, I think it's actually months, going back to uh, March or April. Anyway, uh, target for wave three or C down. You can see here we've got the uh, prices and dates in purple and the wave count in uh, black. Okay, we had a one or A down. We had a two or B up. And we're looking for three or C down. And we got it uh, within uh, just a few points of our target. We had a... Um, an actual of, let me see what that was here on the ES. It was 20, 39.20. And uh, we had a target of, let's just look at it here because I don't think I have it on there correctly. Bear with me for a moment, please. Let's just look at the pick. There we go. The 24.75 was our target and um, our one-to-one -one and the actual was 3920.75 so within four and a half points a couple months long target and there we are i'll exp explain things from this uh picture here because it's a little more clear but uh we're looking for five waves down in the uh, c wave and there's one in black two in black three in black four in black and there is five right there like i said within less than five points of our target so here's uh what so um now that that congratulations is over, what next? Okay, so from here, you might see this big 4101.75 MOB. That just so happens to be the wave one low. Um, you'll understand here shortly why I've had one or A, two or B up here, and three or C down here. Okay, let's just go with, if this is one down, two up, and three down, three four up is next so there's the fibonacci retracements for four don't worry about reading them because four up cannot go above the wave one low which is 4101.75 so if the market goes up there it's not a four so the, these targets are immaterial because they're not attainable in a wave four okay so if this is a one down a two up and a three down then three should extend okay and you can see our uh, our extension targets down there okay the 36 32 and 34 88 that's uh that's the extension um of wave three okay otherwise four up would have to hold below here and then we get a five okay or this is a down b up c down what i've said since january really is we need a 535 ABC down up down correction that would be a normal correction so right now as of today May 11th 2022 a normal correction can be called complete what happens from here we'll see okay if it breaks above 410175 then it is likely to go to new all-time highs because this ABC correction is complete However, if that stays as resistance and this goes down and makes lower lows, then we're looking for these wave three targets. That's why I've had the one or A, two or B, and three or C in there. We'll change that as soon as the market tells us which one it is. And um, we'll just leave it right there. Okay, let's look at the uh, S&P cash if we can. It's the same exact scenario with different numbers they're just three or four points different that's all there was our 39 uh, 34 actual and we hit a i'm sorry estimate 1.1 fibonacci extension should i say not estimate because this math and this absolute it never changes okay we came within um about six points of that direct hit okay and uh oh i should explain here uh the the one and two alternate okay because that's how this thing this three extends again the same rules apply to the cash that apply to the s p okay so we have a one down a two up and the alternate is this is subdividing into one down two up and then 
one down, two up. So we'd be getting a three with a circle of a three over here and a three in parentheses. So it'd be a third of third of third wave. That thing would just explode to the downside, okay? So uh, we'll see if that happens and we can get those targets when and if that does happen. But that is the alternate count. And the same applies uh, for the cash and the futures. Again, um, there's the futures and they have the same alternate count there. Okay, and we can look at that uh, that cash and that is the same right there. Okay, so big target, <clears throat> excuse me, long standing target was met and surpassed by just a few points to the downside. Now we'll see if we get a, a, a move up that holds uh, below 41.14 or a move up that goes above it, which would be the first sign that the ABC decline is over and we're off to new highs. <clears throat> Ought to be interesting. Until next time, take care, everyone.